Welcome back to an exciting uh, chess opening video where we will go over um, one of the most popular and underrated chess openings there is in the game of chess. Uh, this opening is uh, very, very old. Some people say it is inspired from China, uh, and some people will even uh, go back, recent, recent research can even go back to the, the Roman occupation of Brittany or of, of England, uh, under Hadrian. Um, and this pawn, uh, this opening <clears throat> is under, uh, under Trump, uh, has made a recent uh, resurgence, um, in popularity. In fact, in the recent, uh, ch world, ch uh, world championship between Magnus Carlsen and Sergei from Russia, uh, Magnus Carlsen did the Trump opening and, and there was a lot of, uh, speculation that he was even going to do this opening. So without further ado, let's get into the the wall, the pawn wall opening. So what, what white is looking to do is they are looking to get a pawn wall in the center of the board and have black pay for it. So what they're going to do is they are going to open uh, really, really aggressively with a4 and they're looking to build that pawn wall. And the main line, let's, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick to the main line. There's a couple of different openings. There's a, the response of the development of the knight uh, and the queen pawn. However, we're gonna go over the main line, which is uh, the e5 response from black. White is going to obviously continue building this wall. And at this point, uh, black has uh, a great move of trying to stop, trying to put holes or, or trying to ruin our wall fun. Uh, but we're not going to let that happen. We're going to continue building that wall and try to uh, encapsulate his uh, bishop behind uh, enemy lines, as it were. Um, so after this, you're going to likely see uh, development of white's uh, knight. And uh, this this pawn right here is is stuck. We can't we can't do a normal development of the wall. So we're going to have to have a knight uh, come in and uh, offer, uh, uh, allow us to move this pawn next time. And that, that's, that's an important life lesson, uh, patience. So when, when you can't do things, you have to look for another way to do it and then wait your next turn to build the wall. So in this case, we're going to move this pawn next turn. And after this, you might see something such as this knight coming down. Um, and we're gonna have to remove that with imminent domain so that we can build the wall. Uh, when it comes time for it. But right now we can let him run around and see what he's doing. And so right now the computer has us at uh, negative uh, 1.4 or negative 1.14. And that is actually really good for white, judging as the on the moves we've actually played. Uh, we really should be a lot lower. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to now continue with our plan. And uh, black will respond with a check. And that's just wasting, really what we're doing is wasting his time uh, with this check. Uh, really what he should be doing is preventing our wall. And that's going to hurt him in the long run. So with this check, we're going to just develop this bishop. We're going to let this bishop, this bishop's like an honorary pawn in the wall right now. And this rook is just holding us back. Uh, and we're going to sacrifice it uh, as a wall gambit. Uh, so after that, you're going to see continuation from black, uh, bringing his queen down. Um, after we've moved this pawn, uh, Black will will move his king, his queen, her the queen down, and <clears throat> um, we're having another pro uh, another uh, problem right here. So we can't we can't uh, move this pawn forward. So what we're going to do is just try to get rid of this knight. So we're going to uh, move the knight here, and uh, Black is going to continue in the main line with the uh, checkmate. So <clears throat> really, uh, this victory, uh, we've been checkmated, but we have gotten four pawns in the center, and that is a moral victory for white. So um, whether or not it was from uh, Hadrian or uh, from China, I'm glad to see this uh, opening is making a great comeback among uh, modern players. It is, a, it is not a hyper-modern opening, uh, since we are gaining control with our pawns uh, and not with our pieces later in the game. Um, but 
I really think that it has a lot of potential and there's a lot of lines that really haven't been studied. Um, so uh, thanks for watching.